Hi everyone, it's Emmy. Today I'm going to make another slime recipe and today it's going to be Metamucil slime. This is Metamucil. This is actually just a generic version I picked up at my local pharmacy and it's made out of psyllium husk and it's used for when you are a little bit, you know, backed up in the plumbing. So let's go in the kitchen and I'll show you how to do it. So to a microwave safe bowl, you're going to add one tablespoon of the psyllium husk powder and then you're going to add a cup of water and food coloring if you want to make a fun color. Then whisk everything up and then place in the microwave for three minutes on regular power. After three minutes, take out the soupy goopy stuff and give it a stir and then microwave it again for three minutes. At this point it should be boiling and it should have this kind of consistency. You might have to adjust these cooking times depending on the type of microwave you have. At this point you're going to let the slime cool off a little bit and it'll thicken up. After the slime is cooled off, then you're going to microwave it one more time for two minutes. And you should get something like this. If you don't have a microwave, you can do this all on the stove top as well. Add the same ingredients, so one tablespoon of Metamucil powder, one cup of water, and whisk it over the stove on high heat. Make sure you stir this constantly, you don't want it to burn. And once it comes to a nice boil and gets this kind of slimy texture, Remove it from the heat, allow it to cool, and there's your slime. Alright, so those are the finished slimes. I have two versions. This is the orange kind, this has no food coloring in it, and this is the green version that had some food coloring in it. And I would say it's pretty successful. It's quite slimy and oozy goozy. Yeah. So this is a kind of a cross between a slime and a flubber. It is, it does leave a little bit kind of residually on your fingers. Uh, yeah, in terms of slime recipes, this one wasn't my favorite. I think the glue recipes are better, but I know a lot of people can't find borax. So this might be something for you to play with or try if you can't find borax or liquid starch. So yeah. As you can hear, my son has just woken up, so I better get going. Let me, let me know in the comments below if there are other fun recipes or kid crafts that you'd like me to test out. I'd love to hear about it. All right, I hope you found that useful, and yeah, go out and make something. Bye. So there are seven different flavors, and they're very conveniently color-coded, so I'm going to eat them in the order of the rainbow, beginning with red, and these are called Tagalongs.